Hello there, I hope you've been doing well. I've been keeping busy these past few days, working on my business and figuring out how I want to spend my time going forward. I've been feeling a little burnt out recently and have been finding myself drawn to slower, gentler practices, away from feeling like I need to rush through things. I wanted to film a video tonight in line with some of those oh, changes, okay. which are changes I'm hoping to bring forward with me, both in my work and my personal life. I really do need to slow down more. I can't just keep talking about it at this point. I need to actually do it. I'm sure some of you feel the same. I have been running around my house trying to find a good spot to film, but it is so sunny and so bright right now that I feel like every single angle I'm in is just like not it. But I'm hoping, hoping this is okay. I wanted to do a like evening in my life kind of video because I just, I have an evening to myself. And yeah, I made this whole list of things I was going to do tonight, like including making a hyacinth perfume, making some tinctures, repotting some plants. But I don't know how much of that I'm going to do. I've already done my artist's way chapter for the month of April. If you're new here, I do it by month rather than by week just because I like having a little bit more time to do all the activities in the chapter. And so I just finished that, I've done laundry, I had dinner, I had some cheesecake, and I think it's like, yeah, it's like just past 5.30 now. And there's so many things I want to do, but I'm not sure how many of them I'm going to get to. <laughs> but I do have my list here and like maybe I'll do some of them, we'll see. First though, I wanted to show you some of the books that I got. Um, so I do book reviews on my book Instagram and so publishers will send me a book um, for free and then I write a review for them which is so transactional in its own way. And I actually thought that I had them all at this point but when I got home yesterday from running some errands I had two more there waiting for me. So I had this one. I already had this one, The Key to Creativity, and I was going to finish reading it this weekend and then write a review. And I was like, okay, cool, I'm done all my reviews then. Except then I got surprises. Um, I got Seed to Dust by Mark Hammer, which I had asked for and then it didn't come. And so I was like, okay, whatever, I'm not getting that one, that's okay. But it did come, so I'm very happy about that because I've read one of his previous books. Um, I think it was called Spring Rain and I really enjoyed it. So I'm really looking forward to this. And then this one, I'll take the bookmark out. This one was a complete surprise. I actually don't quite recall putting my name in for this. Although actually no, now that I'm saying it, I'm actually pretty sure I remember when I did that. Um, not this book specifically, but so this was a really nice surprise to get in the mail. Um, it's a mystery of sorts. And so I'm very excited because I haven't read a good mystery in like so long. I feel like I've been doing a lot of nonfiction, but, <laughs> This is kind of silly, but like the, what I'm more excited about is this bookmark that came with that book. It says, out of the foulness of the toad is created a new essence, and then like a drawing of a frog. And on the back, I believe this is Latin, don't quote me on that. But yeah, so now I have, <laughs> I was going to start reading the books on my shelves, but now I have three more books to write reviews for, which is totally fine. And yeah, like I said, um, I had this whole list of things that I wanted to do tonight, but in complete transparency, I've been feeling like really, really off this week. So honestly, I think I'm just gonna like take it as it comes and see what happens. Like, I don't even know what I'm doing when I get up from this chair. Like, I might make the hyacinth perfume, I might make a tincture, I might repot a plant. So it's gonna be a surprise for all of us what I do next. But before we go do anything, um, I don't think I can get a better shot of this, but I finally put up those orange slices that I dried in the last video. I have to cut the, the strings off up there, but like, they look so cute. Like, oh my gosh. Like, look at that. It looks, it looks really nice with all the plants and everything too.
had decided to make this perfume first, but then I realized that I have to let these dry, and so um, I don't think I'll be doing that. But I am gonna lay out the coconut oil that I need for the base. I was about to make the hyacinth perfume, and then I realized that the hyacinths actually have to dry before I can do that. So I can scoop out the coconut oil, but I can't actually do the perfumey part yet. I don't actually know how to pronounce what this method is called. I believe, I believe it's unflourage, but honestly I might be completely off about that. The, the idea behind it is, is that you put down a layer of fat. I think in the past it was animal fat, but um, I don't have any of that. And I don't have any shea butter either, but I do have coconut oil. So I'm going to spread that out and hope that that works. I guess we'll find out. Um, I can do that part at least right now while I'm waiting for the flowers to dry. I just pulled out everything to make two or three tinctures and then I realized I was missing um, a couple herbs from each. Specifically, my ginger is not dry enough to put in one of them and so I have to wait for the ginger to dry. But there is one I can make and so I'm going to make the one. Okay, so this is going to be the calming one. So I have passion flower, ashwagandha root of course lemon balm that I took from my grandparents' garden. And lavender buds taken from my garden. Very, very exciting. I've learned the hard way not to spill vodka on this type of wood. I am really hoping I can wipe that off. Um, if not, <laughs> that's okay, I guess. Oh, beautiful. It's nothing fancy, but this is how I track the things that I'm making because um, tinctures have to be going for about six to eight weeks depending on what you have in them and same with herbal oils and so this is how I track them.
So I just checked the flowers. I was going to finish off that perfume, but I realized the flowers are still um, really wet, surprisingly, even though it's been a couple of hours uh, since I washed them. But I think I'm going to have to leave that for another time, unfortunately. As you just saw, I was doing my March Reflections and April Intentions, which I just started back in February. Um, but I really am enjoying doing it. It's like a little glimpse into like what happened in the month and then what I'm hoping for for the next month. And in that process, I realized for my March Intentions, so I wrote these at the end of February, I was going to finish the first draft of my novel. And guess who didn't do that? It's me. However, I only have like two chapters left to write and like I'm thinking probably 4,000 words max and today is Friday, March 29th and so I do have like a little bit of time and I think like what I was going to do is finish up that perfume and like pot some plants and do some of the other things on my list but what I think I'm going to do is close this vlog down and write at least one chapter on my book and then hopefully write another chapter tomorrow. Um, we'll see. I'm filming a lot of videos tomorrow just because I have something that's coming up that I want to get stuff ready for and I want to get it out of the way just so like I have the footage. I don't know how to explain this without giving it all away but my next video is going to be talking about everything that's coming up and so I don't want to just like spill the beans here and like Honestly, I don't want to talk for like 20 minutes right now as well, so that's another thing. I am really sorry for being big, but I promise next video I'm going to explain everything, and then it'll all make sense, and then I won't be annoying anymore. To honor March Catherine's hopes for the month, I'm going to go finish that chapter of my novel, hopefully finish the last chapter tomorrow, and then I'm going to take a nice long rest this evening because I have not been doing that, and I clearly, <laughs> clearly need it. But anyway, yeah, thank you so much for watching. I am going to go work on that novel now, and I will see you next time.